watching Big Faces and Briefcases, and I'm Tristan. Today I have my first smartwatch that I'm going to be unboxing, setting up, and showing you guys how to personalize. It's really cool, very simple. Now you can see the packaging is very, very different in size. It has chrome lettering, which is different from the special edition boxes. Into the packaging, you can see that the watch itself isn't very big. It has a screen protector, comes with a price tag. We peel back the screen protector, peeling off the protection from the instruments on the back side of the watch. You can see that it has some sensors there for measuring pulse from your wrist. You can see that it comes with the regular diesel manual hook, as well as a charger for this smartwatch. It also has a manual showing how to power up, download, and pair. Just to kind of set up your diesel smartwatch, and that's what we're going to be going through today. The whole setup process. Now, as per the manual, we take the charger and we make sure that the watch is fully charged before turning it on. The watch will then prompt you. To select a language, from there it's going to walk you through the setup process and it will only allow you to get so far before requiring you to download an app on your mobile device, phone, tablet, I'm pretty sure even a laptop would do for this one. I use my phone so I'm going to be showing you uh, just how easy the setup process is. Once you're ready to download the app, just head on over to your store and download the Google Wear app. It's quite simple. Once you get into the app, you can then get into personalization of your actual device, which is very nice. I mean, it has a lot of different watch faces you can select from. I chose a very um, high-tech looking one that almost reminds me of my Mr. Daddy 2.0 collection. Um, then there's a series of tiles which are kind of like widgets from your phone where it can show you different things like the weather, um, it can show you current news and very very helpful stuff all accessible from your wrist which is nice. pages where you go if you'd like to reset your watch if you want to restore it to factory settings if you were to gift it to somebody it's nice to be able to erase it completely just a couple more pages to click through and we're almost there and there we have it as you can see my personalized smartwatch background swiping up down left right you can see the different menus that will pop up very easy to move through a simple swipe back to center will get you back to home screen. Using the dial, you can click and that will bring you over to the main menu, which is really cool. You can also use the dial rather than your finger to scroll through. Very easy to move through and nice and simple. You'll cut down on the time to unlock your phone and get in there to message somebody when you're on the go. A real time saver to just look at your wrist instead of going in your pocket and having to pull your phone out, unlock it, and then have the freedom to move through everything. Thanks for watching Big Faces and Briefcases. This was my first smartwatch. I'll be sure to let you know what I think about it. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.